started as a little two-acre raspberry farm in our house where we still live down the road and we never wanted to give up our direct relationship with our customers, our direct, our direct relationship with the local markets and the local chefs. But scaling up is also really important and our 33,000 acres avoids the use of more than 10 million pounds of synthetic chemicals every year and we've also we talked a lot about making sustainable food affordable and one thing that earthbound farm has done is because we have reached these economies of scale our products are actually pretty affordable compared to conventional and as we talked about that organic food is only 3.5 percent of food in this country our category that we're the biggest in which is the baby leaf pre-washed salads, which is actually outsells iceberg and romaine right now. It's the biggest category in packaged salads, which is the biggest category in all salad greens. Um, our category is 44% organic. So that shows you what can happen when you get prices to be affordable, and that happens when you scale up. So I think it's about including scaling up and scaling down. And one little analogy that I, I don't know if it's a good one, I've never used it before, and then I'm going to hand the microphone to my father. To my father. <laughs> Like my kids when they were little, and I don't know if anyone did this, when they go to the beach, um, they would they would dig a tunnel by both of them would dig down from one side to the other until they met in the middle, and then there was a bridge over there, and there was no other way to make that tunnel. If you did it just by yourself, it would collapse. And I think we really need to think about that we're talking about more regional food, more local food, trying to get away from this mass distribution system, which isn't that efficient, but at the same time, we really need to talk about people buy most of their foods in the supermarket, and if they can get an organic alternative, which is so much more sustainable where they shop, we're going to be making a huge impact, and so I just am really encouraging people to make this conversation inclusive and not focus only on, on the small local, because that's wonderful, but that's a very, very, very tiny percent of our food, and we want that to grow, but the impact is going to be a lot slower.